Hey YouTube, this is Scarecrow Kaiser. Today I'm going to do a profile on my Rose Legion deck profile. So, another one of my uh, G4 uh, deck profiles. So, I'm going to get started with the grade 3s here. So, obviously, for our grade 3 on, we run for the Legion and for the Mate. Uh, Maiden of the Trailing Rose is a cool card. Uh, back when the clan first started out, my wife played the deck, and it was a pretty solid card. Um, just over time, it's not like it could really do that much. So to bring back a Legion for it is really cool. And this is, I think, a really, really, really well-designed Legion. It's just good. Uh, when you, It's kind of like dope-like, or... Uh, the X like in manner that you ride it and you can create like a legion loop with it but this thing has like a built in soul blast where the X needs rear guards to do the soul blast for it um, it doesn't have as much like raw power as uh, the X can in terms of like he can do like an infinite legion sort of thing and his effects are just really deadly this thing has like effects like that has effects that are cool and stuff it does not have that raw deadliness, but it's it has a, to make up for it, it has a better functioning infinite legion, so uh, very cool. For the grade twos, I have four flower screen, uh, ability to change your name, put stuff back in the deck, uh, like it's cool when uh, you get ready to legion. You need to put the mate back, but you don't want to have to use, waste one of your legion put back four, not putting back a trigger, so she can do it. As well as she helps with other things in the deck, which I'll get to. Uh, my second grade two is Wistaria Knight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when he gets uh, two of two cards out with his name, he's an 11k at the Vanguard that on hit can counter blast and draw. Very cool. Uh, so. Obviously, he can work with Flower Screen if you don't have two of him. And then, for my last grade two, I play three Grace Knight. Because he hits 12, um, I will get to a moment why that fact that he's a 12k attacker is why I've chosen him. As for other options, there's other things you can do. Like the, I don't remember her name, the grade two that can, when boosted, GB1, Counter Blast 1, clone something. I had her in here initially. But she wasn't helping the deck like I wanted. I just found that the raw power of this card was working better. For the grade 1s, we have four perfect guards. I play oranges because I don't, you don't Counter Blast that heavily in this deck, so you don't really need the unflip, and it's better to be able to protect your rear guards from things like Laurel or the X. Then I play for Holly. Um, he is, if your Vanguard's in Legion and you have one of the Legion mates on the rear guard, he gets a boost for each one. So if you can get like multiples and stuff, it he can be a, like, if you have like two on the rear guard, he'll be an 11k booster. So if he's teaming up with anything that's 11k or greater, or 10k or greater, I should say. You're hitting t at least 21, which that's good numbers. Um, he's why I like to play the 12k knight, uh, the 12k grade two, grace knight, because even if uh, I don't have two out, even if I just have one from the legion, then he's a nine and a 12 teaming up to hit 21. So, yeah. And he's the thing you usually want to clone in the deck. I also play three stride assist. And for my last grade one, I play three Lady of the Sunlight Force. She's a Gojo clone, so she's useful early game. Like, if you go first and ride her, you can't do anything your first turn, so you can, like, use her to rest her, discard a trigger, draw, and just use her to, like, load up your grave with triggers and make it easier and better to Legion. And then for the starter, I run the Maiden. Um, she's really good for the way this deck plays out. You can move her to the soul when you've got a boosted attack, look at your top cards and call a booster uh, at rest. 
She works well for the deck because by the time you get to turn three, if you're riding the Legion, you're going to do that Soul Blast and clone a rear guard. So you want to have something good there that you can clone. Um, so she helps you dig out for what you're usually going for, which is the Holly Knight, so that you can clone him and get multiples about and have really good columns. So she helps you get to that as well as she gets herself out of the way. She does it for no counter blast. Um, she's a good card. And then the trigger lineup is very basic. It is four heals, four draws, and eight crit. Uh, I don't need to explain why I'm playing crits. Draws are pretty self-explanatory in that I wanted card advantage, and then heals are just staple pretty much. I didn't run the stand trigger because this deck isn't like uh, the GB1 stand trigger where you choose two things out with the same name, they'll get plus five and you put the trigger back. Uh, it's a respectable card, but I don't find the need for it in this deck. This deck isn't so much about having a ton of the same card out. You're just going for the basics. Uh, strong legioning, make strong rear guard comps. You don't need to have the clones necessarily do that. Um, for the grade fours, it is pretty much like any of my other Neon Nectar G4s. Uh, one on hit, one Primavera, which I very, very rarely ever use, but she can get things done. If I was going to cut something from this lineup, it would probably be her for something like Blizza, but I haven't done so yet. Then I run two Asha. Uh, a lot of people like to run four Asha, but I've never really been a fan. She's only something I ever really like doing once a game. I don't think I've ever actually wanted to use her more than once. Instead, I like to play for my last grade four, four of the dragon. The dragon just wins games. He makes your field so big. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, if you can get three of the same card out, like three boosters, and then give each unit plus six, so that each column is plus twelve, that's huge. That's a, those are big columns, and if you do it to your point two turns in a row, they're probably dead afterward. So, yeah, that's it for this deck profile. Uh, thank you guys for watching.